Joining me now, Judge Janine Pirro, co-host of The Five Judge. Great to see you. I promoted it all day long you did. on social Thank media. You. I Thank mean, you. this is the Richter scale is going to be moving with our commentary tonight. Well, it, first it, of all, let me tell you, I loved your angle. I mean, there Thank was you. so much in there. I can't wait to get to it. So you go. Well, well, tell me who's responsible for this chaos. Obviously, the activists on the ground. Mm -hmm. But what's behind all of this in your estimation? You know, I think that the takedown of this country began several years ago. And I think that Joe Biden himself is an example of the visceral decline that this country is in. And it started with the fact that the left realized, uh, Laura, that they lost middle America. They lost hardworking Americans. And I had to smile when you talked about, you know, most Americans are proud when the American flag goes up. I was proud when the cops in New York City at Columbia University took down the Palestinian flag and put the American flag up. But what has happened is they have become so much a part of that left and that movement that, you know, they just assume that even though we've lost middle America, we've got all these illegals and make no mistake in New York City, they want them to vote in municipal races. And you know what's next. And I just read a couple of days ago and for the life of me, I can't remember. There was another city where they want illegals to be able to vote. They are they are in a situation where they know they've lost America. And Joe Biden knows I'm not telling him anything. He's got a 71 percent disapproval rating for his handling of Gaza. But this is a man who at this point has given up on America, has given up on the institution of government. And the fact that he would go out and, and literally make America hate MAGA extremists and not be able to talk about pro-Hamas, Jew-hating, American-hating people who call for, the, uh, call for the genocide of Jews and call for the elimination of Israel is just stunning. Yesterday, he went to Marine One. He went with all his press people around him so nobody could ask him a question. The only thing that's come out of the White House is a statement by someone I don't even remember. They don't care about the things that we care about, Laura. No. They no. don't care about this. And you know what? We've got George Soros behind it, funding it, George Soros prosecutors who are going to get rid of these charges. They're not going to be prosecuted, and they know it. And yeah, until American recognizes it, we're in big trouble. Go ahead. Yeah, I think the Biden administration, uh, they, they probably have a pretty good idea who's behind all of this. They know what's going on with the prosecutors. Yeah. But um, watch this. Does President Biden want his administration to find out who is funding some of these protests? What I can say, I, I, you know, um, I cannot, uh, I cannot speak to uh, the organizations that are being reported that it's on the ground. That is something that I'm, uh, that local uh, law enforcement, I'm um, certainly is looking into. Ah, I Ju love it. Judge, take I, it away. I love it. Look, the fact that she said local law enforcement is, is looking into means that the White House doesn't care about it. The White House should be on top of it. And if Mayor Eric Adams said they're outside agitators, who was a Democrat who's on the outs with the White House, as we know, um, you know, it, they don't care. They don't want to know. They don't want to be responsible. Cardona should be out there saying we're starting an investigation. Title VI monies are available here, and we've got to make sure that Jewish students are protected on campus. And that's not happening. No one is saying anything. No one cares about the fundamentals and the institutions of this country. It's going to miss with Joe Biden. President Trump spoke out on all of this, uh, Judge. It was awesome. Watch. To every college president, I say remove the encampments immediately, vanquish the radicals, and take back our campuses for all of the normal students who want a safe place from which to learn. Biden should speak out. He should speak out. He should say something, because nobody knows where he is. Oh, you know Judge, what? I mean, the idea, that, I mean, Biden's not making any big decisions. We all know that. But mm -hmm. what's your theory? Is it because they just can't afford to offend the squad and the far left at this point, and they're just going to try to go for broke? You know what? I really believe, Laura, and I listened to you very closely, and I thought the angle was excellent. I think they know that, you know, it's close, but they want Michigan. They're not worried about losing the election. They're worried about winning Michigan. 
And I think they think that if they win Michigan, everything will be okay. And if they're quiet about the pro Hamas group, everything will be okay. And you know what? The whole idea that, that you've got these kids who are out there saying they're going to die of dehydration. And, you know, when they're the ones who are closing down the universities, I mean, they are hypocritical, spoiled, elitist brats. brats. And, it, it, and you know what? It's no surprise it's only in the elite universities that this is happening. This is a progressive mentality. And unless and until we stop it, it's going to be the next generation running this country. And by the way, Joe Biden has ruined this country in terms of border. We are Marvel. nothing more than a globalist landing spot with benefits. And he's bringing them all in so that Americans don't matter. That was the goal. We're going to be strangers in our own land. Judge, For sure. I knew this would be awesome. Great to see you. Great one to of my be on. <laughs> one of my absolute favorites, period, full stop. Judge, thank, thank you. you.